All right. Hello. So welcome to the Linux world. I've got an old Linux laptop and honestly, it's just been sitting around because I couldn't get, I couldn't get an OpenGL project to work using make files. It's just something about it. It's just too unstable, but I recently found out how to run CMake. So I want to just present how to run CMake and get an OpenGL, you know, GLFW GLAD project up. Just, just really simple. So to start with prerequisites, I'll be using VS code in this video. If you don't have VS code, no worries. Just have head over to the Visual Studio Code webpage, download the appropriate file. And I've got mine here. So I'm in, I'm in my downloads folder. I'll just list storage and we have all these bits. And this first one, this code.deb is the package that I want. I've installed it already, but if I hadn't installed it, all I would do is sudo apt install and then the name of the file, tab to autocomplete. There we go. <laughs> Dot slash to indicate that it's the file that we're after, not the not some sort of package reference or something. And just hit enter, give our password. And it'll probably, oh, 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 you're going to install it. Okay, thanks. I get VS Code again. Oh, I've already got it. Okay, cool. So once we've got Visual Studio Code, we can pop in and start a project. Let me just make a directory, my project, and then change directory in there, into there, tab to autocomplete, and then code, the shortcut for Visual Studio Code, and dot for the current folder. Okay, so here we are right now with a completely blank slate. All right, so we're going to need a few things. We'll see how this goes. One thing we're definitely going to need is we're definitely going to need the C++ extension so we can have proper code linting and all of that. And we're also going to need CMake so that we can integrate CMake into Visual Studio Code. And then we're going to need CMake tools for the for the quick start. Now, sometimes this quick start works, sometimes it doesn't, but we'll still need the tools. So let me pop over and let's say I want to I want to start my project. So I'll just go view, view command palette. And here we have CMake quick start. If you don't see it there, of course, um, just type CMake and then you'll get a whole bunch of options, one of which is quick start. So this is not going to work. <laughs> so if if CMake quick start works for you, uh, congrats, I'm happy for you. It It's just not working for me. So that's fine. That is totally fine. Let me just start things off. So I'll make a source folder and then inside that source folder, this is where I'm going to put all of my source code. I'll make a main file, main.cpp. And I'll just quickly code this up. The CMake quick uh, quick start didn't work. That's perfectly fine. It's not the end of the world. All we what we can do is make a new file, and this has to be called CMake Lists txt. Side note: When I first heard about CMake, I just assumed it was for making C projects only. Turns out that C stands for cross, like cross-platform. Anyway, the more you know. So first of all, I'll just specify which version of CMake I'm going to use. And the CMake tools are kicking in here and, and linting my code. So this will be version three. So this is all done with functions. So the next function I'm gonna call is called project. And this will specify <clears throat> the name of the project that I'm, that I'm working on little little tip here is when you're making a project and it's up to you, completely up to you as to the name, just make that name as long as possible and as convoluted as possible. I'm just going to give my project a version. You can put 
whatever number you want here. And then I'm going to specify the executable. So I'll say, alrighty, add executable. The first argument here will be the name of the project that I'm adding the executable for. And then the second, well, as many arguments separated by spaces would be the names of the of the source files. So if we look here, we are inside the source directory and the file is main.cpp. So there we have that. And I think that's, that's all we need. So just control S to save. But see, there isn't really a way to build this right now. Right now, this is just a random file floating around in the folder. So what we need to do is we go to view, command palette, and then type CMake to get all the CMake commands. And it's this configure command that we really want. So we'll just hit CMake configure. And it does its thing. And see now down the bottom, I've got some CMake options. By the way, if you hit CMake quick start and it did work, one of the things it would ask would be for the uh, compiler. So if I click on this compiler, I have the option to select from a whole bunch of them. This can be a little overwhelming the first time you see it. I chose to go with this compiler up here because if you look on the side, it says using compilers, we've got a C compiler, the standard GCC, and we've got a C++ compiler, the standard G++. So for that reason, that's the one for me. But any other would probably be fine. I just want to test my project. So down the bottom, I'll hit build, fingers crossed. Okay, build finished with exit code zero, indicating that it was successfully built. At this stage, if we've done specified anything dodgy in our CMake lists file, those errors will come up here. But uh, it built correctly. Now let's see if it runs correctly. So we'll just hit down the bottom, launch. Yep, and in the terminal, we've got hello world. Okay. That's very cool. Next up, I want to get GLFW working. So I'll just close down everything for now. And on the side here, I want to run a command and that is sudo apt get install. And the name of this is lib glfw3 dev. It's the development package. And this is all information that's freely available. You can Google it online quick start guides and stuff. Okay, that's fine, we've already got it. That's what I expected. So this installs it in our system. For some reason, make files just weren't working for me and they weren't finding it, but this one does work. So what we can do is just go back to our main file and yeah, let's, let's get some GLFW in here. So we'll just go include and then angle brackets because we wanna search the system and we'll go glfw, glfw3.h. I can't, I can't state how satisfying it is having that autocomplete for me. Okay, so, ah, oh, you don't, you don't want to see me type. I mean, I can type, of course, it's just slow. So this is my sort of bare bones process that I'm going to go with. I'll get to the glad stuff later, so I'll just comment that out for now. My mouse is being weird. I'm using the trackpad. The time was I would just have like five mice anywhere. You, you couldn't walk anywhere and, uh, without bumping into a mouse. But I guess I'm kind of a minimalist now. <laughs> anyway, so we've got GLFW3. We're creating, using it to create a window, checking that we initialize properly. Yeah, we create the window, make it the current context, and then just run a loop and then close. So spoiler alert, this isn't quite going to work. Because if we go to build, hopefully it catches this error in the build stage. Yeah. So it says finished with exit code two, which is not good. And we have a whole bunch of passive aggressive text up here. The issue is that, yeah, we've included GLFW, but we, we haven't told the compiler to link to the actual GLFW lib, as it were. This is actually, it's not too hard in CMake. All we need to do is just down the bottom, run another function that's target link libraries. And, and the library I'm going to link is glfw. Save that and it sort of rechecks it. 
So let's hit build. Okay, build succeeded. Finished with exit code zero. Awesome, that's what I like to see. Now let's launch the project and we should see a window. There we have it, awesome. Very cool, very nice. Okay, so oh, you can kind of see that I've, I've steered clear of doing any actual OpenGL stuff. So let's do that. In order to do OpenGL, we'll need GLAD GL additional dependencies. So I'll just head over to my files. There are different ways to, to include this, but GLAD is really just source code. So if I look over here, I've got this glad.c and this uh, glad.h. So let's grab both of those and just head back to the project. And I'll just directly put them in the source folder. There we go. Okay, cool. So now we should have those. Let's start with the, the actual source stuff. So of course we'll include that header. And typically GLAD needs to be included in front of GLFW because if you include GLFW first, GLAD will say, hey, wait a second, you've already included some OpenGL thing. It's, it's weird, but that's fine. And also super important is we can't, the purpose of GLAD is to load in to, to find the locations of OpenGL processes and load them into memory. We can't load the GL loader until the window has been made as the current context. If I'm emphasizing something, it's because I've gotten burned. Okay, so let's leave that other function for now. So we just, yeah, we load, we load up GLAD so we can use our, our standard OpenGL functionality. We'll just head to the CMake and well, now we've got multiple uh, source files. So we'll just go, okay. I don't think it matters which order we include these. We'll just say, okay, source. Um, these are all uh, separated by spaces. It's actually be a little neater if I new lined them. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, build works, okay. Does it run? If this runs, okay, it, pr it probably shouldn't be running. Let me just specify a few other things that we should be including. It's probably because I'm not doing any anything complicated. Okay, so we have the project and probably a good idea to go OpenGL. Now you'll see that we get a problem. So we can click in here and it says, something to the effect of find OpenGL found both a legacy and a GL library. So what it's saying, it's saying, hey dude, um, which, which OpenGL do you wanna use? Do you wanna use core or uh, immediate? So all we need to do, I believe, is go CMake policy, and then the policy that I'm after, we'll go set the policy is and I'll just set that to new mode. Save that file, that problem disappears. So this is just making sure that we're using the new OpenGL. Then when I link this library, I'll link GLFW of course, but then I'll also link um, OpenGL. No, okay, let's double checking all of that. Okay, that looks good. All right, so, We'll just give that another go, build it. Of course it was working before, but this should maximize the workingness of it and then just run it. And we are in fact getting what we expect. And then just to verify that it's not a fluke, we can just set the color. Okay, so we've got a little bit of red, mostly blue. Build it again, launch it. And there we have it. Okay, that's, yeah, that's very cool. So. From time to time, I am going to be doing a few videos on OpenGL Linux stuff, because honestly, I do prefer Linux. I think it's good. It's good when it's good. Anyway, so that'll be it for now. Hope you had fun, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.